There is something inherently beautiful about certain words, the way they sound, the way they look written down, and of course their meanings. In this video, I'm going to talk about five such beautiful words. Words that some of you English nuts told me were your favorite words. To discover these words, do keep watching. But first, if you haven't already, do subscribe to The English Nut on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. Thank you. This is the favorite word of my viewer Anne Charles. Wanderlust. It means a strong desire to travel. This word came into English from German. Wandern in German means to roam about and Lust means desire or pleasure. So it's literally about a lust for wandering. If you have wanderlust, you don't necessarily want to go to a particular place. You just don't want to stay in the same place. Scottish novelist and travel writer Robert Louis Stevenson wrote, For my part, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. The great affair is to move. This is a perfect description of wanderlust. Here are some sentences containing the word. The beautiful weather brought out his wanderlust and he packed his bags. Her wanderlust was apparent from the number of stamps in her passport. During the summer holidays, I gave in to my wanderlust. In his poem titled The Wanderlust, British Canadian poet Robert William Service says, Grimland, dimland, oh how the vastness calls, farland, starland, oh how the stillness falls, for you never can tell if it's heaven or hell, and I'm taking the trail on trust, but I haven't a doubt that my soul will leap out on its wanderlust. This is the favorite word of my viewer, Mohan Ayer, aficionado. It means a person who is knowledgeable and enthusiastic about a particular topic or activity. In the 1800s, English adopted the Spanish word aficionado. It is the past participle of the Spanish verb aficionar, which is derived from aficion, meaning affection. Indeed, aficionados have a strong affection for the subject or activity they are interested in. The Japanese turned out to be aficionados of Rajni Khan's movies. If you're an aficionado of scuba diving, you must go to the Andaman Islands. Knowing that I was an aficionado of fine wines, he gifted me a bottle of a rare Chardonnay. You'll find many aficionados of bullfighting in Spain. This is the favorite word of my viewer, soliloquies by Shailja. Phantasmagorical describes something that is full of different images as in a dream, something unreal, fantastical, a constantly shifting complex collection of things real or imagined. The word phantasmagorical comes from phantasmagoria, which was the name given to a magic lantern show brought from Paris to London in the early 19th century. A magic lantern was an early type of projector. Phantasmagoria was derived from the French term phantasmagorie, which was derived from the Greek word phantasma, meaning apparition. Phantasmagoria is also the name of a poem written by Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. The poem Lewis Carroll's longest is a conversation between a phantom or ghost and a man. According to the poem, ghosts fear the same things as humans, though sometimes in reverse. And as to being in a fright, allow me to remark, the ghosts have just as good a right in every way to fear the light as men to fear the dark. Here's how you can use phantasmagorical in sentences. The phantasmagorical special effects of the movie held the children spellbound. The dreamlike images the song conjured up gave it a phantasmagorical quality. The word can be used in a negative way too. The vision that the politician laid out in his speech to improve the economy was, frankly, phantasmagorical. This is the favorite word of my viewer Dhwani Prajapati, diaphanous. It means transparent or translucent. It is often used to describe fabrics. 
The model walked the ramp in a diaphanous silk dress. The diaphanous curtains let in the morning light. It doesn't always have to describe fabric though. The spider spun its diaphanous web. Here is a quote from a September 2021 Time magazine article containing the word. She works with a type of construction site netting which in her hands becomes a kind of diaphanous chain mail, casting shadows of ancient Persian warriors or illuminated carpet patterns that tell a contemporary story. Here's another quote from Love's Shadow Nine Crooked Paths by Lauren Leo. Hidden by diaphanous clouds of mist and fog, floating gracefully over veils of heather and flowing runnels, she began to dance. This is the favorite word of my viewer Anunna Bonjotsna, sublime. It means lofty, great, beautiful, elevated in thought or language, inspiring awe, supreme. Maurice Metterlink, the Nobel Prize winning Belgian poet, playwright and essayist, wrote in The Treasure of the Humble, his book of deeply mystical essays, We all live in the sublime. Where else can we live? That is the only place of life. Here's how you can use the word in a sentence. The sublime music transported me to another realm. The veteran soldiers told us that there was nothing sublime in war. The ad the channel showed after the Satyajit Ray film took us from the sublime to the ridiculous. I'll end with another quote. This is from the poem A Psalm of Life by American poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Those were the beautiful words that five of you chose as your favorite ones. If you have any other favorite words, do write them in the comments section. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.